need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. YouTubers and Mad Fans, this is Mad Money Shot, bringing you some more money plays out of the Saints playbook. This is by far the best playbook in the game this year. If you guys are watching this video and you haven't been keeping up, um, I have an entire Saints breakdown, an entire Saints ebook, all in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Uh, this particular play and this particular formation is a play formation that I've been using a lot lately. Um, it probably has what I consider to be the best play in the game. This play I'm going to show you right here is by far the, the cheapest play in the game. It's so easy to run and it beats everything deep this is a cover four over the top touchdown play this is a uh, a prevent over the top touchdown play but people that run the three man deep you know what i'm saying this beats that if you're if you're in a position where you're down and you know somebody's gonna gonna throw up um a, a prevent defense you can have a one play touchdown over a prevent defense with this play it also beats cover three cover four um cover two it's not that great in uh but that's fine i'll show you some adjustments to beat that there's a lot of plays that beat cover two so though that's one of the the easier plays to beat but as far as your your heavy your pass looks this is a one play touchdown against them and i'm going to show you a whole scheme so you can basically run an entire offense out of this formation i mean this is just you guys know if you watch my channel if you watch my gameplay footage uh, that i run the saints playbook and i'm going to show you some really good stuff out of that other than that um, if you guys want to see more gameplay footage of this play in action hopefully i'll put some at the beginning of the video but i put out a video yesterday specifically using this play quite a bit against cover four so if you want to see it live in action and maybe some other tips about it watch the gameplay video from yesterday uh, i'll try to pop up a link for that as i'm talking about it but either way let's get into the first play the play of the day uh, is the pa post <laughs> the pa post dig shot this play right here i think it's in another formation uh, maybe in the eagles playbook uh, maybe a single back formation or something like that i'm not really sure but uh, there's a very similar play like this that I found a while back in other um, in other uh, playbooks, and, and I was really um, excited for that. I'll try to pop a link for that, too. Like I said, I think it might be the Raiders, the Packers, the Eagles. I'm not really sure, but um, really good play. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. It's a Portland concept. I don't even know what that means. So we're going to go ahead and pick a random play. I would like to pick cover four to show that, but uh, it worked. Like I said, it works against anything, so it's really hard for me to do that. But I will pick. I'll pick cover. I'll pick it by formation. We'll start off with the three deep. Like I said, this is, uh, I said it beats this. So I'm going to show this first. The man up three deep. This is the preferred prevent defense that people run when uh, it's basically game over. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. All right, so this is the play right here. This, this is what's great about this play is there are zero adjustments to make. You only have to make an adjustment after the snap, uh, which is essentially rolling out to the right. And I'm going to show you that now. So I mean, you need the blocking. I mean, the tight end here. If you take him off, you're not going to have the edge blocking you need. Uh, the running back. You, if you want to, you can take away the play action. If somebody's in a normal play, if somebody's sending blitzes, you can take away the play action. The play action is not important. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it. We're going to go ahead. We're going to roll out to the right. Real simple here. And we're basically just going to keep doing this. You can see how the safety freezes and reacts to my rolling out. And you can see there, I just lob it up over the dude, and it's a touchdown. Easy. You want your number one wide receiver doing that. It's it's typically your number one wide receiver, but I would say speed is probably just as important as being a good wide receiver. But you kind of have to have a, a combination of both. Either way, we're going to run this a couple times just to show you that that wasn't any fluke. We'll go ahead and we're going to roll out. I like how this guy here is just mirroring me instead of coming. I'm bullet passing and, uh, and um, pass leading to the right, by the way, to get over that safety, just so you guys know. So we're going to one more time. Then we're going to show cover four, cover three, you name it. We're just going to go down the line and just destroy these defenses. So we're going to get this edge once again. You can see how that pass blocking is critical. And once again, like I said, that safety, he's just frozen up over there for whatever reason. Probably the rollout is why it does that. And you can see we got a touch. So we'll go ahead and move on. Like I said, prevent defense, one play touchdown. I don't know how many are out there like this, but now you have one in your arsenal. Congratulations. It is definitely necessary to have something like that in your arsenal. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Next up, we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick uh, cover four, which is also, you know, people, I'll pick, I'll try to pick the cover four everybody uses, but this is not, this is not a 3-4 team. Everybody knows that everybody's coming out in that noob cover four out of 3-4. I, I can't, I love it when people run that stuff now because I have this play. So we're going to go over and pick cover four out of the nickel normal. 
it's to the point I play weekend league and there's so much cover four out there and people think that they're like geniuses when they pick it I can't wait for people to pick cover four because I have this play in my arsenal so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do this we'll go ahead I'm, oh yeah I didn't get that edge but that's okay so you just have to be smart still rolling out though and look at that boom cover four easy one play touchdown you're gonna want people to play cover four with this nonsense when you have this play this play right here, it's almost to the point where I pick this play the first play of every game because I'm expecting people to run cover four. <laughs> um, so it's, you know, I, I can't wait. If you hit somebody with this too, by the way, you probably won't see that cover four ever again. So that's another good thing because the cover four is somewhat difficult to crack. You can still pass on it, but it's a little bit hard to crack. But once you run this play once or twice on them, you'll never see that cover four once again. Look at that edge seal. We're motioning out. Look at that. Both the safeties drop. Hoping that that pass wasn't wasn't a bad pass. Look at that. Touchdown again. Piece of cake. So I'll skip the cover threes. And I'll just go random here a little bit. I'm just going to run this against whatever defense. Because I want to show you guys how to beat cover two with it too. You're not always going to guess right. Um, but you can kind of pick. So we'll go ahead and we'll go keep going random. We'll go random nickel. So if you think it's a cover two, which just looks like a cover two. Uh, it actually looks like a cover four again to be honest with you. But you can always put um, again on a drag. And uh, it's a really good high-low. Uh, I don't know what that was. But you can see there, Coleman's, uh, you know, wide open, uh, deep. It's a good route, deep. If, it, if you think it's a cover, too, another good option is to motion Thomas in. And he's going to basically line up in a much better position to beat that cover, too. You can still put Fleener on a drag. Uh, but you're going to see here how there, that's a cover, too. He's just going to be right up the middle. And if you have a faster guy, he could have been gone. But he's not the fastest receiver. So this play right here, like I said, if you pre-diagnose cover two, just bring Thomas in, and then boom, you got a really good play. I still think that Ginn is probably best on this drag, especially in a cover two, because it's a much better setup. Um, so there, it looks like another cover two, and we're getting a wrap of the middle. Like I said, if I had a nice fast receiver, which this guy still might be fast enough, and he is, and we're gone. So we have a one-play touchdown against everything. Let's go. I mean, this is just, like I said, man, this is the best play in the game. <laughs> There's just no doubt about it. So this looks like a possible another cover, too. Like I said, I wish this guy was a little bit faster. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit him. We're going to pass lead up. And we're just going to take that, get tackled by the safety. But like I said, speed is definitely a thing. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Like I said, really easy. Pre-snap read. You see too high safety. And the guy's been running a lot of cover, too. Just bring him in. If you see too high safety, the guy's been running a lot of cover four, it's probably cover four. And if you see single high safety, it's either a man or cover three. This beats all of them just with a simple adjustment. So let's go ahead and move on to the next play. So I'll probably show just one more play uh, on this video. If you guys want to see part two, make sure you hit the like button. I'll do that. Um, other than that, let's go and let's pick the PA wide receiver in. This is another really good cover two beater to mix in too, by the way. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. I will keep going random nickel. This play right here, you don't really don't need an adjustment. Um, you can run just like this. I typically like to put Fleener on a slant. Uh, that's just me. Uh, but he's fine on a drag. Um, you can always motion this guy in. If you want to play uh, play games with your opponent. It'll get him across the field quicker. And I find it's a little bit uh, a little bit better to run it this way. I'm gonna go and do it with my slant though, because like I said, I really I really prefer that slant. Uh, but you're really trying to get that circle route, as you can see there, because he's closer. It kind of makes the linebacker choose. So that's really one of the benefits of motioning this guy in on this play is he really makes uh, your the linebacker choose between the two. The guy coming in his area and the guy leaving his area, which is what you want. So we're going to sidestep that. And I probably should have safe caught that. I don't know why. I, I put the ball in danger a little bit by trying to catch and run. Um, but, you know, there's not a lot of adjustments here. It's just a really good play for this formation. So cover three. I don't think that Ginn's going to be the best against cover three. Um, but let's go ahead and let's try it anyway. But he's right at that seam there. Like I said, I'm going to possession catch every time if I can. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit and drop that ball. So we'll go ahead and run this a couple times. If it is a cover three, you could always put Fleener on a, on a streak too. That's an option. Um, the slant's probably a little bit better against man coverages than anything. Um, as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and go that circle route again. That's the cover two beater. Like I said, that was a, that was a clear cover two. So that's going to be really open in the middle. Anybody running cover two does not want to see the double post from an outside receiver. That's a really good. Did I mess that up. That's a really good. Um, that's a really good cover two play. Is that outside post? It looks like this is a cover three. So I have a couple different options here. Since my receiver's in line, I can put him on a streak uh, if I want to. Um, it's going to see how. You know, if I pass that might have been a cover one. I'm not sure, but you can see how I pass lead inside for that. Anytime you see a single high safety, it's really your option. This looks like it again. It's really your option if you want to streak that receiver because he's right in that seam. And that was not the best throw. I was hoping for that to be a little bit shorter, but it's all good. It still happened. Possession catch those too. It's important. 
got a possession of those. So let's go ahead and let's run this again. Going up top again. I can see that's that cover too. Just got to wait for that to clear. Like I, said, I wish I had a little bit more speed. He might be gone. But you can see how big of a play it is regardless. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and end the first video on that. Um, that first play, I mean, that was like four plays in one. Uh, you know, there's no real adjustments. It's just the best play in the game. So if you guys want to see part two, make sure you hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, if you want to see the whole video, it's on my Patreon now. Or you can check out my, my ebook and my... Uh, um, you know, my uh, my full breakdown video. Um, but other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shout out.